So if you're with me last week, uh, I did a recipe that involves some uh, artichokes with it. It was really good. It was a, a Greek uh, kind of recipe, Greek pasta with using orzo. And I had a little bit of artichokes left over. I thought, all right, what can we do artichoke-wise this time? Looked in the fridge, had the cream cheese, had some sour cream. So, of course, you might be thinking, all right, he's on the road to spinach artichoke dip. Didn't have any spinach, but I thought, what can I do differently with artichokes and a dip? So I thought... Let's throw some crab in there uh, and just get a can of crab meat, lump crab meat, and we're going to do today a crab artichoke dip. So show you that here in just a second because I've already got some cooking right now here kind of inside my cooker over here. Tell you what, let's just take, take that down a notch just to be safe. We're going to do that. Oh, no, we're going to do this. Yeah, we'll do that. Don't want this to burn because I've already got the breadcrumbs there on the top. So. That should work right there. Let's go through the ingredients really quick here. Uh, we have some fresh parsley, which I'll be using that at the very end. Uh, we can serve this several ways. You can make yourself a crostini if you'd like, or I just have uh, some everyday Ritz crackers here. Kind of hidden behind my herbs right now is just a little bit there of Worcestershire sauce. Uh, then I have lump crab meat. I got the big crab meat too. I love the crab meat. And chopped up there several green onions. Got some Monterey Jack cheese. Got the other artichokes I had left over. They were quartered, but I wanted to make them uh, a little bit smaller so you wouldn't be getting this big piece of artichoke inside your mouth when you're dipping there with a small cracker. Parmesan cheese and just some salt and pepper to taste. Already inside my bowl, though, is some cream cheese. I did half a block there of cream cheese. Um, you can go mayonnaise if you want to, about half a cup of mayonnaise. For the sake of Ron, because he's such a dear friend, we're not doing mayonnaise. Uh, I did some sour cream with that and said, I'll go, I could do a Greek yogurt, too, if you'd like. So what you want to do is make sure your cream cheese is softened. Um, you can leave it sitting out for a while or just put it there in a little bit of hot water. But what you're looking for is just to be able to really just push your spatula right through it because you're going to start mixing here. And if your cream cheese uh, is not very soft, you're going to have a really hard time softening. So once you kind of get these things mixed in right here, uh, the, the recipe itself becomes really simple. You just start tossing everything in. But to make it a little bit easier as you're doing this, maybe just add a couple things at a time. So throw in there your green onions. Uh, that's going to be probably about four tablespoons worth. Add it to your desire as to what looks good to you. Your Monterey Jack cheese, that's going to go in there. That's going to be about three-fourths of a cup of that. Then begin to stir that in. Going to add in now the artichoke hearts. And again, you can get those in the can. They'll be quartered. Uh, they actually have whole ones too, I believe, but you can get the quartered ones and then chop them up. Uh, and so you, again, don't get a very big bite there of your artichoke. Now the artichokes, go ahead and drain them, by the way. There will be a little bit of uh, water in the can. Go ahead and drain those, but you know, don't pat dry the artichokes. You want a little bit of liquid here. So again, that makes things easier to stir. Your other liquid to help things easier to stir will be there about two tablespoons there of your Worcestershire sauce or Worcestershire Shire sauce, however you wish to pronounce it. You know what I'm talking about, right? So then continue mixing everything in, fold it in all nice and easy. Then you're going to throw in here pretty much about a three-fourths of a cup to maybe about a cup there of your fresh Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna mix that in. Now you've noticed I've held off on the crab. I've not added that in yet. The reason I'm doing that is so that I can begin mixing everything up in the bowl and nice and evenly. Then I'm gonna add the crab because the more you work with the crab, the more it's gonna break apart, break apart, which is not a bad thing. It's not gonna change the flavor. But when you get that nice lump crab meat, uh, imagine if you're like me, you really do wanna try to keep those lumps in there uh, as big as possible. So when you begin stirring in your crab meat, very easily, very gingerly. Uh, that's when you fold in that crab meat. Don't press down too hard, uh, again, because that's going to break up that crab meat, which, again, that's not going to cause you any issues. Uh, it's just, you know, I like having big lumps of crab meat when I'm having something uh, that's mixed with crab. After that, it's done deal. You just add it up into a, a skillet if you want to throw it into the stove, or you can put it there into your air fryer. And I say I'm done. Forgot one more thing here. This is going to be some fresh garlic. So we're going to throw that fresh garlic in there just like so. There we are. That's a three cloves there of fresh minced garlic. If you don't have fresh garlic cloves, not a problem. Just throw yourself in there. Maybe about a teaspoon there of uh, your uh, garlic powder you probably have sitting inside your pantry. Then you're done. It's all a done deal. That is when you're going to take it out Put it into a skillet if you want, or you can put it into a bowl uh, like I've got here, a glass bowl. And then you can top it with a little bit there of breadcrumbs. And there you go. You have yourself 
take that a little further for you. There we go. You've got yourself here a baked artichoke garlic dip, which I'm going to spoon out here soon, bowl it up for Ron, and then for decoration purposes, just throw in there a little bit of parsley there on top. I'm going to get this bowled up for Ron. He's going to try it out with a Ritz cracker. If I had some crostinis, you could do that too.